Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at a prototype, i.e. a very early version of a plugin that allows us to create custom post types and custom fields and display them in the Gutenberg site editor. Hat tip to Brendan Fry of the Dynamic WordPress group for sharing the link to this project. Here at GitHub, and you see this is an automatic repo, create content model. That's what the project is called right now. And this is the getting started file. There is a short video here that kind of shows you some of the things. And then these are the steps here. Okay, and this is the README, and the README has a download to the latest release. Just notice here that the earliest file in the repo was from last month. So this is relatively new. You know, it's kind of cool to see the direction that things are going. All right, so I have a test site here. It's a brand new install the 2024 theme. Let's go to plugins and I'm going to install two plugins. The first one is the Gutenberg plugin. And here it is. And I'll activate that. I've already downloaded this create content model plugin. Okay, so I'm going to upload that. Okay, I'm going to hit install and activate. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Gutenberg experiments. And there's one here, UI to create block bindings. So we're going to use that. And I'll save. Okay, and then you'll notice over here when we activated this plugin for create content model. It added this admin menu here. So let's go and add new model. All right, so I'm gonna call this member. Okay, and these are the labels, so I think I can have a space there. Then here you can pick your icon by going to the dash icon list here. So let's go down near the bottom. Uh, here we go. Let's go do groups. Okay, so it's dash icon groups. And we'll go here and we'll post, we'll paste that in. All right, I'm just going to publish this now. All right, so what we do is we start with the field. So we're creating a custom post types here. And there are only two fields that are in these core custom post types, the title and the content. So we're going to add some more fields, but we'll use the title, the post title for the team member's name, but let's add one for the job title. So you select the kind of block you want. So I'm using a text paragraph and we'll call it job title and we'll save the field. And it gives us an option to add a placeholder value. Now, when you add a placeholder value, you have to go in and delete it out. So I'm going to skip that, okay, and I'm going to now add an image, okay, and I'll add a binding for it, and this will be member photo, okay, and then I'll add another field, a text field, and this one will be bio. 
Okay, so now let's go back to the custom post type here and get post meta. So these are our three fields. There's this place here to manage post meta. So in theory, from reading the description, we can add text, URL, number, image, and button. I had a hard time figuring out the button. So for this purpose, I'm just going with the text and image. Here are our bindings. You see it's got the paragraph for the title, image for the photo, and paragraph for the bio. Okay, now one thing we can do here is we can give a starting kind of style to some of these fields. So like in the job title field, I'm going to go and we'll make the text this kind of salmon color and we'll make it small and we will go to typography letter case and make it uppercase and then for the image we will go and let's set it to be 200 by 200 okay and save that okay and so now let's go to team members. Let's add a new team member and our team member will be Susan Smith and she will be web designer. So see it's using our settings, you know, style settings that we made when we added the custom fields. You can change that. We can unlock it and then go and change the style if we want to. Okay, so let's add an image. I upload a few images. Okay, and then we'll enter a bio. Okay, there's our first one. Okay, let's add another one. This is a bug here that it says new changes may not have been saved even though it could be. Remember this is just a prototype, so it's kind of an idea of what they're working on. Okay, so we'll add a new one. And this will be Dan Williams. Okay, and Dan will be sales. And we'll pick a photo for Dan. Okay, and we'll enter a bio for Dan. For me. We'll publish that. I'm gonna pause the video, put in a couple more, just kind of a repeat of this. So be back in just a second. Okay, so here you see we have five records here of team members. Okay, so let's say that we want to display them. If we just go and view what we have, what we created in the editor, see here's the, the title, the job title, their photo, and their bio, right? So like if we look at the team member, that's exactly what we did here. So by default, it's going to show exactly what we have here, what we, the way we set it up on the page. But we have control and we can go into the full site editor to templates and we can add a new one. Okay, so let's go and add a single team member. And Let's just go with a blank one here. 
think we need to add the header and then below that we need to add the footer okay and then in the middle we'll add the group block and and here let's add a row okay and then here now we want to add the photo look at that here's our block the member photo we've basically created a custom block here for our custom field pretty darn cool connected to post meta Okay, on this side, we will add a post title. Okay, and then we will add, let's add our job title. And let's add our bio. Okay, so let's see, I think in here, we may need to transform into a group and let's make that 90%. Here, let's add some margin to the top and bottom save and now let's go back and view a person here and here is the template that we created okay pretty cool and that's the single template let's go and add a new one and this one will be archived for team members. Let's try this one. <laughs> and look, at, we're getting some things here. Let's go and look at the template. Okay, in this row, can the, let's delete these items. And we'll add after, what do we want? We want our job title. Okay. Oops, I got in there twice. Okay, and then let's go back here. We can remove this author. We can remove this and add after. We will add the bio. Okay. And we don't need this excerpt anymore. All right, let's just save and see what we've got here. If we go now to the front end, I think we're gonna want team member. All right, well, we don't have the images. Oh yeah, 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 so this is showing featured image. And we need to add the photo instead. It's not a featured image member photo. So then we can take out the featured image here and save. And we'll go back and refresh. And look, here is our archive with our team members. 
Very cool. Now, in playing around with this, I was able to break it pretty easily, but it's really nice to see the direction that this is going in. Project looks like it's being worked on by a team at WordPress.com, and in their roadmap, they're planning on having this plugin available in WordPress.org, and maybe this will make it into core. One more thing to see here, and that is that now that we've created our content model, we can export it and we can download the zip file. Okay, so I'll save that. Okay, so now we can go to a different website. This is Gutenberg testing. I'll go to a site, testing site. Let's go to plugins. You can see I got a bunch of plugins on here for testing, but let's upload that one that we just exported. No, I haven't installed that plugin for create content model, right? This is just the export of the CPT. So I'm grabbing the file here and installing it. Activating it. All right, look, we got our team member custom post type. And we have our blocks. Okay, just very awesome. Really cool to see the direction that's going. It's been a long time. I didn't think Core would ever add further support for custom fields. I thought they were going to leave that for third parties. But it's nice to see what's coming to the site editor in Gutenberg. Okay, so that's my look at the prototype for Create Content Model and the experimental interface for block binding. We'll see what version of WordPress these are released in. But I hope you found this video interesting. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Thank you for watching.